information got to the speaker, he didn't rest on it. He sought to find out what really was the problem and to resolve it. Um, the majority leader also took steps to resolve the matter. What I do know is that uh, the majority leader had promised the outgone um, British High Commissioner that he was going to get to the bottom of the matter. There has been a back and forth with him. He was expecting that the matter will finally be resolved before it went to the public domain. Now that uh, the matter is out of, his, uh, of the grasp of Parliament, um, he informs me that it's a bit limited as to what he can do. But the Speaker has indicated that um, he, at the moment, is out of town. But once he gets back into town, he's going to resolve the matter in whatever way that uh, he deems fit. But he's indicated that uh, he's not going to take kindly to any, any member of Parliament bringing the name of Parliament into disrepute. Mr. Speaker has spoken to um, all the members that were mentioned. There's one uh, former member and three sitting members. Mr. Speaker has spoken to all of them. He has tried to find out their side of the story. He has tried to see what resolutions can be brought to the matter. Um, at the time when he left you know, the country, he, we were under the impression that the matter was almost resolved. Now that uh, the matter is taking a new dimension, he has indicated to me that uh, he would really look at the whole issue and then find a lasting solution to it. But uh, what we should all be uh, aware of is the fact that Mr. Speaker is very keen on maintaining the integrity of Parliament. And he feels that even if it's one person who was involved in it, that is bad enough. And he's going to um, see a resolution to the matter as soon as possible. The laws are clear on, on these issues. And the law, nobody, the law is no respecter of a particular person. So whoever has anything against anybody, whether they are a member of parliament or not, once it's legitimate, they can, the, the law can take its course, and that's what uh, the speaker in, indicated. The speaker will take the action that is in his, his power to take, that he deems fit. However, if anybody feels that they want to go to the courts of law, by all means, that is also available for them. But I don't know whether the speaker will do that, since parliament has powers to you know, deal with such matters. When the speaker finally resolves the matter, what may happen? He may decide to refer the matter to a committee, privileges committee, or a committee that he would seem, deem fit, or he can decide to handle the matter at his level. At the moment, I know that the matter was being handled at the level of leadership. I don't know whether this new development will lead to speaker taking a different action.